use z-scores to compare the given values. So they're talking about the tallest living man and the shortest living man. And we have to compute the z-scores for the heights of each of these men and then compare the values. So I'm going to write tallest. Kind of a cool problem. Good application of, uh, of, of z-scores. And then we have the shortest. So the formula for the z-score is z equals x minus x bar over s. So you take your data value, you subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation. So let's see, for the tallest living man, he had a height of 242 centimeters. So that's going to be our x for the tallest living man, 242. And the shortest living man, at that same time, had a height of 85.8 centimeters. So that's our x here for the shortest, 85.8. Heights of men at that time had a mean of 176.18. So x bar is 176.18. It's the same here, right? It's the same x bar for both, because x bar is the average height of men at this time. And a standard deviation of 6.13. So that's our s. 6.13, and then here S is 6.13. Now, I just realized we should technically be using population notation here, but for all practical purposes, it doesn't matter, right? So instead of X bar, we should really be using mu. Likewise, here we should be using mu because we're talking about the population of men here. And then instead of S, we should be using sigma. Likewise, here we should be using sigma. And the formula using population notation would be x minus mu over sigma. But it actually does not matter because you get the same answer either way. Okay, so let's do tallest first. So z is equal to x, so 242, minus the mean, so 176.18, divided by the standard deviation. So this is for the tallest. So let's type it into the calculator. Now when you type it into your calculator, be really, really careful. You want to use parentheses. So let me turn it on. So clear. So parentheses, 242 minus 176.18. Parentheses divided by 6.13. So 10.74. Wow, that's really, really unusual, right? 10.74. Anything above 2 is unusually tall. I mean, that's, that's just crazy, right? Really, really big number. It's a huge z-score. I guess it should make sense. It's the tallest living man, right? So um, that's pretty unusual. For the shortest, it would be x, so 85.8, minus the mean, so 176. 0.18 divided by the standard deviation, 6.13. So putting this in the calculator, let's try it. So it would be parentheses 85.8 minus 176.18 parentheses and then 6.13. Whoops, 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 I forgot the division sign. So divided by 6.13. Let's try it. So, wow, wow, that's so small. So negative, negative 14.74. That is very, very unusual, unusually short man. Um, so since the z-score for the tallest man is, so let's try it, 10.74. And the z-score for the shortest man is, negative 14.74. The blank man had the height that was more extreme. So the shortest man is more extreme, right? It's farther away from zero than this one. So it should be the shortest man had the height that was more extreme. So I hope that made sense. This was a nice um, application of z-scores. So given two heights, uh, we can compare them and we can determine which one is more extreme by using z-scores. Again, the shortest man was more extreme because negative 14.74 is farther from zero 
than 10.74, right? This is, this is farther from zero than 10.74. That's it. I hope that helped.